Hello, uh, my name is Bruce. Uh, today we're going to paint some grapes. I'm going to sketch a few here. Notice I've put grapes on top of the grapes. Never just sketch or paint your grapes lined up. The paints that I'm using today, Lism Crimson, Burnt Ombre, White, Ultramarine Blue, Cad Red Light, Cad Yellow Light, and a touch of black. First mixture is going to be Lism Crimson with Blue. The idea being we're going to put a bluish red on the dark side to begin the grapes. I have a bit of medium. Uh, I'm using also what I'm trying to do is get the paint in such a manner that it goes smoothly on the canvas. On the canvas, the first thing we're going to do is the outline of the grapes. And as we're doing that, we're trying to get a definite shape of the grape on the outside. And we want to half paint the grape. Now grapes are different sizes and they're not quite round. So as you're putting them down, remember they don't have to all be uniformly the same size. And the idea of putting grapes on top is to get away from the flatness but what you want to do is you're trying to make the grapes reach out towards you as you're painting. In the second step try to define some of your grapes Find your grapes and half moon them. Paint half the grape. Now with a new brush, or clean the brush that you have, first color that you're going to put into the grapes is going to be your cad red. Just touch the grape so that you know you can see the color of cad red. The next color that you're going to add, you're going to add a cad orange. Just underneath that red that you just put in. Now what we're building is a translucent, 
loosened grape, meaning that the light comes in on the dark side of your grape and escapes the great grape on the light side. Next, we're going to blend the colors that we have. Keep your brush fairly clean when you're doing this. And the other thing is you're trying to create little globes, ensuring that the lighter part is still showing through like your orange and your cad red. The next step, you can see light in between your grapes, like so. Fill that in. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting a burnt umber along with the dark red and blue that we mixed. That's a very dark color. You can also go back and add a little bit of the red to that color and you can go and now you can create a little darkness on on the grapes where you put the dark before. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to put some cad yellow at the farthest point of your grape where you think the light may escape from the, from the grape. Again, try to keep the colors clean. Notice in here there should be a new grape because it's just not built up the way it should be. So we're going to go in, we're going to take dark, we're going to fill that in. And then we're going to go through the same steps and find your cad red. And then I'll find your cad orange. And you're going to find your cad yellow. Now we're going to blend these colors in from the light up to the dark. Next we're going to take white with a liner brush and a little bit of red to make it on the pinkish side. And we're going to outline the grapes.
Next, we're going to blend that white into the grape. If, if it comes too much white, go back to your black or your, your blue and your red and just build the top of the grape like so. Then go ahead and blend. Now at this stage, look at your grapes and define any areas that you feel should be defined. And you define it with dark. A liner brush would be ideal for the outside of your, of your uh, grapes. Just take a little liner brush. I'm going to take some of my darker color. And I'm going to outline my grapes if they're not perfectly formed. There we go. Any, any areas that you feel should be blended into the grape, go ahead and grate, do that. Now set back and see if you need any dark areas. I see dark areas. So I'm going to add a little bit more red on the dark area side. Now normally what I would do, I do this in stages where I do the back, the first stage and then let it dry. Uh, in this case I'm just trying to show you the techniques that's being used. If you let it dry and then you put a varnish or you even put just a, a nice medium on it, the, the grapes will really glow. Okay, go into those dark areas. At this stage I'm going to quickly highlight with white, just white. I'm making the white marks that I'm putting on here like a cat eye. I'm sort of trying to follow the shape of the grape and I'm putting it on the dark side of the grape. Now we can just put a stem. I'm just going to use some of this burnt, a burnt umber. and make it a, like an ink. And just wiggle your stem. And there you have some grapes. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little demonstration. The idea that translucent grapes where the light comes from the left and goes out the opposite side. Thank you very much.